The uh, Hibernian Hall was regularized September 2nd. That was when I failed to mention that much, any of you recall. I uh, spoke to the detective squad. Basically, they did have video there, they had video surveillance. Video, unfortunately, shows that the perpetrated space is covered by a mask. All right, so it's basically unrecognizable as far as who this person is. Put evidence collection, uh, the evidence collection team responded to the, you know, to the burglary that day. Unfortunately, also no fingerprints were lifted and there was no uh, blood or any kind of DNA evidence recovered. So basically, right now, the case is still active with the okay. six one precinct detective squad. There's not been an arrest yet. Uh, that's basically, you know, there's not many leads on this one, okay? Um, as far as other crimes, since the last meeting, uh, two crimes I'm going to speak about. There was a uh, robbery on the Avenue here um, back on November 23rd, okay? It's basically uh, some kind of internet, uh, an office for an internet company, I believe. Um, looks like a random act, male black, described as about 25 years old, about 5'8", 180 pounds, black baseball hat, brown jacket, blue jeans, enters. He has a bag which looks like it contains a firearm. All right, there's basically three employees there, two males and a female. He orders them all to the back room. Um, basically, this isn't a cash business. Like I said, it looks like a random act where this guy, you know, I guess picks the spot for whatever reason, looking to get some uh, currency from the uh, business. Basically, one of the guys hands him all the uh, $25. All right, he says he has a gun. He has a yellow ha handle hammer. He hits the two males with the hammer, takes the 25 hours, runs out to the avenue. Um, you know, we had a pretty good response. The, yeah, the uh, right. helicopters were up. All right, we checked the weeds, you know, all the way back going into its, uh, Marine Park, into the 6th Street Precinct. Unfortunately, no arrest was made this time. The uh, detectives have a case on this. Um, you know, if you know anyone who saw anything that day, you know, please encourage them to uh, let us know whatever they know, okay? Um, you can always remain anonymous too with that uh, phone number. I think I gave out a couple times. 1 800 577 TIPS TIPS. Or you can call 61 Precinct. And we'll pass right through the uh, detectives. The other, um, the other uh, case was a burglary. All right, this happened actually on Thanksgiving night. Um, a woman in the late 70s on Garland Court is out, I assume, probably somewhere for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, between about 3 in the afternoon to about 9 15 at night, she's gone, comes home, sees that. Actually, it looks like her, her rear door was left unlocked, all right? Somebody, um, somebody enters, removes her 32-inch flat screen TV, uh, some bank um, checkbooks, credit card, and uh, that also, unfortunately, there's no wrestling with that. If you know anyone that, uh, that lives in the area, I mean, the detectives were out on that, they canvassed. Um, right now, we don't have any leads on that, all right? So please, if you know anything or anyone that lives in that area, please, uh, have them uh, come forward with any information. Again, they can remain anonymous, all right? This is, uh, you know, obviously a, a rotten thing to do with, you know, maybe in the uh, late 70s on Thanksgiving. Um, we know about the, uh, you know, the Christmas tree lighting. Right. I think I spoke to him with some Chris Mullen. Okay, yeah, so you told me, okay. So we should have, you know, some of you all just be out here helping out. Um, <coughs> next precinct community council meeting is going to be next Wednesday at the Bainbridge Center, 3093 Ocean Avenue. And that's at 7.30 p.m. That's all I have. All right, we, uh, everyone in this room knows it's Mrs. Denver, and she does leave her back door unlocked, and they took that big screen TV. However, rumor has it that they tried to catch one of those cats. Is there any record of that? I wasn't able to speak to the Hector squad as far as where the case, how the case is going out. Um, you know, let me see who had this. I can try to find that out. I think, you know what, I may, I, I don't want to say, I think I did read some of that, but I, I don't think it, 